Before 2015, Burkina Faso was hailed for its stability in the otherwise embattled Sahel region. But over the past six years, a deadly insurgency has gripped the country. Insecurity started worsening ahead of the 2015 presidential election. While it signaled the return of democracy, the transition was fraught from the start. Two months before the poll, a military coup sought to overthrow the interim government. And although it failed, it created a power vacuum that has destabilized the country ever since. Just weeks after the president was inaugurated, an attack struck at the heart of the country. In January 2016, Al-Qaeda and the Islamic Maghreb raided the splendid hotel and cappuccino restaurant in the capital, Ouagadougou, killing 30 people. In spite of our deep pain, we must not give in to pressure. Human life is too sacred. It should not be taken so savagely by individuals with no morals in these cursed times we live in. The militant groups operating in the landlocked country include Al-Qaeda and the Islamic Maghreb, the Islamic State and the Greater Sahara and their affiliates. An insurgency with origins in the country's north has since spread to the east and now covers vast swaths of territory. Porous borders allow these groups to move easily between Burkina Faso and neighboring Mali and Niger. Meanwhile, security forces have also been accused of violence towards civilians, as well as extrajudicial killings. Since the conflict erupted in 2015, thousands of people have been killed and roughly a million have fled their homes. Westerners have also been targeted. Last week, two Spanish journalists and an Irish conservationist were killed in the same eastern area.